It's time for Around the Ozarks in 5. Brought to you by the Butterfly Palace and Rainforest Adventure, Adventure Cave Tours, and Talking Rocks Cavern. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. That's us, and here we are. Good morning on a Monday. Hope you had a fantastic weekend. Uh, we had a busy weekend, which is a normal weekend for us. I think maybe next week, next weekend may not be as busy. Is that what I'm hearing you say? Yeah, I try to clear my calendar because it is my birthday and our wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> and Ethan's like, I think we're not doing anything. Is that right? I'm like, I purposely no. didn't schedule anything so that you could schedule something, sir. No, I totally thought we were. I, I was telling everybody this weekend that, man, I got to go to Columbia for a swim meet next weekend. But no, that's, that's not, not next true. Weekend. That's the following. Um, anywho, we're here for the news. We can we can discuss <laughs> this marital issue later. Would you like to go on a date with me? Yeah. How about it? Okay. It's my expectation. Do, do some news. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Yeah. An EF2 tornado recorded over the weekend in Mary's County. As you remember, we knew Saturday was going to be a rough day, and it was in Mary's County. The National Weather Service says five people were injured in a tornado. It hit a little after 4.30 Saturday afternoon. It traveled almost seven miles and winds were 120 miles per hour. The Rolla National Airport has damage as do dozens of homes. Also up I-44 from there, National Weather Service says it was likely two tornadoes that hit in the St. Louis area on Saturday. The first one went from Fenton to Sunset Hills. The damage appears to be from an EF1. Uh, also, Monroe and St. Clair counties in Illinois have an EF1 rating on preliminary reports. No injuries there. Yeah, I was up uh, in St. Louis when those storms were were moving through the uh, Metro East side, uh, which is where my brother and my dad live. We were driving to my brother's house, and uh, man, oh man, it it came through. The tornado sirens were on, so it was uh, we were not in a great spot, <laughs> but we took shelter as best we could. Unfortunately, nothing happened there, but it was pretty harrowing. And the soccer game uh, was delayed. They were supposed to start at seven. They moved it to nine 45 because of the storms that moved through the uh, St. Louis city professional soccer game. So craziness. Hmm. Um, yeah. Deputies with the green County Sheriff's office have arrested a man for stealing a woman's car at knife point. It happened a couple of weeks ago while the woman was inside her garage, unloading her car, a man approached her with a knife and demanded money and her car keys. 47-year-old Daryl Lamont Carter is jailed without bond. Hmm. If you've been out on the roads lately, like I have, you surely have noticed that it's, it's the season for road construction. Uh, the Missouri Department of Transportation is asking you to be careful and to slow down. There are crews working on some $1.8 billion dollars worth of road work across the Ozarks and across the state of Missouri. Uh, and, and that oftentimes is where tragic things happen. Last year, for example, there were more than 3,000 crashes in the work zones, uh, 15 of those fatal. And uh, there's a huge project going on uh, starting at Rolla and heading to St. James uh, for that stretch. They're completely redoing the, the uh, let's see, the, the, eastbound side of interstate 44 so hmm. what you have to do is is one lane can continue on the right side the other lane which is the bless you the other lane is is the lane that i was in you go over over the median facing oncoming traffic so you're going this way oncoming traffic is coming this way on an interstate and you're head to head which is Eesh. i've never there's a wall dividing us for some of it but for a lot of it there's not a wall dividing so it's it's a uh, it's a little bit strange to be on an interstate like that, but that alas is happening and will be by the looks of it for a long time, uh, just on the east side of Rolla. Uh, here in the Ozarks, uh, the Ozark superintendent is stepping down starting in June. Uh, Chris Bauman was planning to be there until at least 2026, but sadly his wife is battling terminal cancer. Uh, Dr. Bauman has worked his way up. Uh, to the top spot in Ozark schools from a teacher and a coach to principal and superintendent eventually. The assistant superintendent, Dr. Lori Wilson, will step into his former role. But of course, we wish Dr. Bauman and his wife uh, very well. 
All right. Uh, lots of school districts went to four day school weeks, mostly for cost saving measures. Uh, but now new legislation could require them to go back to five days a week, which would be crazy if you've moved to four now to go back yeah, to five. Anyway, right, going back. Um, some districts could get an exemption. Uh, last week, the Missouri Senate passed a bill allowing homeschool students to participate in athletics and extracurricular activities in the local school district. And within that same legislation, a Democratic senator added a provision requiring five-day school weeks unless approved by a vote of the people. Lawmakers initially approved the four-day school weeks in the late 2000s to try to help districts save money. So both those, all those things you mentioned are, were passed in the Senate. They have to go to the House now to be voted on? Right, yeah. Um, and so it's very interesting because um, some of the legislation, uh, or like within that same bill, they talked about some of the smaller districts that got, have gone to a four-day school week um, at least in their mind, some of them did it for like the right reasons, but Liberty is the largest school district in the state that is only a four day work week. And they were saying that they were kind of using that for like teacher attraction and retention, which they don't feel like is like a good reason to do it. Um, even though, as you know, we are like hemorrhaging teachers and there say, are lots of openings. If you can't find teachers, it sounds like a pretty good reason. Yeah, it, it was, there's a lot to it. There is a lot in there. I read a bunch on it, but um, that's kind of the, the long short of it. So, yeah, it's not finished yet, but it's it's moving forward. So we'll see what happens with it. Because we have a lot in the Ozarks who go four days a week now. So, I mean, none of the bigger ones, really, but some of the smaller ones sure do. So, anyway. Um, all right. Speaking of schools, Nixa high school students will see the realities of a bad car crash today firsthand. There is a docudrama happening at the high school depicting a crash from impaired driving. It's intended to be a sobering reminder of the responsibility that we all have behind the wheel. So if you happen to see a lot of first responders at the school today in Nixa, uh, don't be alarmed necessarily. They are going to be there for that. So. Scare, them, scare them straight, right? Oh, it's true. Yeah. I mean, especially when you were mentioning the work uh, zone crashes, 15 fatal in a year in Missouri is unreal. Yeah, that's a lot. That's sad. Uh, this is happening. It's an ongoing deal that we've been following. The, the old Boyd Elementary School could soon become a space for apartments and small businesses. Developer is hoping to do that. Springfield City Council will talk about that tonight, but already the Planning and Zoning Department approved rezoning that space uh, into apartments and, and businesses. Uh, some people have voiced concerns about how uh, commercial development could impact what is currently a largely residential area, and they're not happy about it. Yeah. Um, all right. Today is also a big day for hunters. Turkey season is officially underway in Missouri. It's expected to be a good one. Conservation officials say they are hopeful for the spring because they have had increased sightings of big flocks of birds this past winter. So they feel there will be more to be harvested. That season runs from today through May 7th. Okay. And then another restaurant opening today. It's a new one for the Ozarks. Huey Magoo's, a chicken restaurant. Uh, first of five is opening in Springfield on uh, Sunshine, right by 65. You can see it from the overpass there. Huey Magoo's, Huey Magoo's <laughs> serves fast food chicken uh, and calls itself the filet mignon of chicken. So I will be the judge of that. Uh, I can assure you I'll be in line. Uh, it opens today in Springfield. The second one will then open in uh, Ozark. So I'm excited about it. More places to eat. I'm happy about that. I know. I'm tired. I need to go. I need to go apparently eat some fast food chicken to wake me up. Um, so five in the Ozarks. We don't know where the last three are going, but number one in Springfield, number two in Ozark. So I imagine Republic will get one. They're getting one of everything these days. It's I know growing. it's growing a lot. I mean, Republic is really expanding there's lots of big employers out there now you know mm -hmm. amazon mm -hmm. and your place convoy of hope yep. yep um what's the other one the other real big one mm. it's out there by amazon right what is it a warehouse what are you talking about 
There's like a big warehouse out there, like a big building. I can't think of what it is, but anyway. Uh, weather real quick. Today's going to be a beautiful day after uh, uh, kind of a crappy weekend. Uh, was it crappy the whole time here? No. Or just Saturday? Sunday? No, it was actually most of Saturday was great. The storm rolled in late. Uh, we got some hail at our house. Um, but by and large in Springfield, it wasn't too bad. It was quick. Came in and moved out. And Man, St. Louis, we were there. I was there for a soccer tournament, and Saturday, Saturday was all right. Uh, it was really cloudy, and then, this, then it rained a couple of times, and then the storms moved through at the end of the day, uh, and then the cold front came through with that, and it was forty-two degrees outside this morning <laughs> with like twenty mile an hour winds, and all I took was shorts. I didn't even have the proper clothing. Yeah, so you I'm, didn't check I'm, the weather. Well, I checked guy, Saturday's weather. weather. I checked Saturday's weather. I didn't think there'd be a 30 degree plus temperature drop in one day. Uh, so I'm, I'm wrapped up in blankets. I have an umbrella trying to block the wind. It was a ridiculous scene. Uh, um, but I was warmer I really than some of the other parents on yesterday, on but I was afraid it'd blow over. You did what? I wanted to bike yesterday because um, it was really sunny. Oh, but yeah. you, the, wind the wind was unbelievable. The wind was insane. I had to drive against it coming back here. Gas mileage was awful. Yeah. Uh, all right. Real quick. Uh, beautiful today. 69, sunny. And then we got more storms coming in. To, uh, looks like Tuesday could be a stormy day. Thursday and Friday could be stormy as well. So it's uh, it's spring. That's what happens, okay. I guess. Um, and by the way, thanks again to our sponsors, Butterfly Palace and Rainforest Adventure. Adventure Cave Tours and Talking Rocks Cavern. They're great. Um, if you want to be a sponsor, let us know. Go visit them. Go visit them. It's a good time. It's always yeah. a good time to go into a cave. Well, I've been to two of the three, and the one that I would like the best is the one we need to go to. And hey, we are going on a date on Friday after all. So, you know, just saying. Okay. Date Friday There's night. Yeah. There's an idea. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week starting today, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Okay. Bye.